Well, last time we did take a look at the Votronic uh, solar charger and this time we will take a look at OLED displays and OLED displays are uh, quite useful. We can for example show also the results of our last tutorial, so charge current or voltage and we will do this again of course with Note Red. Let's go! Well, I bought an OLED display module at Berry Base um, from the manufacturer WaveShare. It's a 0.91 inch display, so a really little display, but also just six bucks, so uh, very affordable. And we can use this. It uses I2C to connect this to a Node Red. We need a node for that, and there's one node existing, Node Red Contrap OLED. It's the only one I could find. It's not maintained anymore, I think, but I'm very happy and very glad that this is existing because it uses all the existing library items. You can see them here. I tried them all and I created uh, a demo uh, on GitHub you can use just to see how they are work. Several are existing, as you can see, and we will take a look how they work in particular. But as a quick tutorial, we'll just step into some of them and there's also a help existing. But first we take a look at my already connected I2C interface. Um, I use the 3.3 volt uh, supply, by the way, and uh, the first bus, the first bus of um, I2C. And when we check the address with I2C detect, we see that is 3C in my case. And before we can use the nodes, we need to configure one display. So I, you can select any of these nodes. And um, if you change something, it's also changed for all nodes at once, if you use always the same name. So we will edit this one here. It has a name, as I said, and then the bus address, which is obviously 3C now, as we found out. And you also need to define a width and height, which is the number of pixels. Um, so when you have another display and also other displays are supported, you can try this if you just change uh, the options. All right, so the wave share is set. And now we can take a look um, how to, to put some data into it. We start with a string and when you take a look at the help, you will already get some information that you need to create some um, JSON objects with size, in this case, uh, the coordinates of X and Y. I also found out that the wrapping option is existing here I did set it to true, but usually I would um, suggest to set it to false and do the line feed manually, which is possible, um, because otherwise sometimes it it just looks unwanted behavior, like unwanted behavior. Okay, in my case I did send hello world, but I changed this now to surreal and maybe YouTube, and we just simply say okay if the display is connected and supplied and um, we can maybe we should put a debug node additionally so that you can see how the JSON object looks like. So we deploy this, we send the information, now we see, oh there's a spelling mistake, but anyway you see Surreal YouTube on the display. And here's the JSON object. So you see we have size, x, y, wrapping and the text. And that's how all these nodes are working. Um, but you should be aware that the display is not deleted or cleared if you don't do this manually. So there's a clear option. You have to press it, then it's cleared. If you don't do this, if you just put it um, like this, so let's put the battery symbol on top. By the way, here it's a nice thing that you can add a percentage and then the symbol is changing. And we put a path on top, coordinates uh, must be sent, and three pixels and a rectangle. And you see that they are all oval, so there's an overlay of all of them. And we can also start a scroll, and now you see it's looking like a mess. 
The problem is scrolling, by the way, there is a library item to stop scrolling, which is not existing in Node-RED. So we can't stop scrolling so easily. So be careful with that if you don't need it. Um, for the pixels, this is quite special. You need to define arrays to uh, send the pixels. And there's also color, which is uh, available for some of the others as well. So for the color, you should set one because then it's uh, white. You can set also two, three, and so on, up to 254. But if you set it to zero, it would be uh, black or off. And you need to create these uh, objects here. So 111 means x1, y1, and color1, then 50, 1, 1, 100, 1, 1. So I did put in the first line several, or not several, three pixel. And when we take a look at the object, you see that this is always an array. Um, so there's no name for the different uh, attributes here. In this case, it's an array, always three items, and that's how to create pixel. And with pixels, you can do anything, of course. Um, can create your own font, but it's a lot of work. So I'm happy that others, other nodes are here as well. By the way, turn on. Um, usually it's always on. And you can't turn it off with a false. You need to use the uh, own option for turn it, for turn off. Let's now switch over to our Votronic example from the last time. I just want to show you that uh, you can create easily a display string, which is sent to the OLED device itself or OLED display module. We will take the voltage and the current which we um, read out last time from our Votronic module. So here you see what I did. I just created a payload object again with size x and y, um, set wrapping to false, and now um, we define the text. And the text is u, so that's for the voltage. And uh, then there is the payload of the voltage and uh, uh, text again for the unit, then a line feed, which will force a line feed, and then E for the, for the current. And the I for the current, by the way, um, will exactly be in the next line if you have wrapping off. So that's important, wrapping must be off here. In this case, I wanted to see when I don't send it clear what toggling will cause. So I created another string manually so that it's switching always. And if you have the same number of digits, you don't need a clear if you use fonts like this one. So this is working very well and this display is cheap. And um, I'm happy that the, the notes are existing already. Hope you enjoyed it as well and it's useful for you. Thanks for watching. The, demos are on github and see you on the next one